earliest memories is still it's still there. Anytime you come over, Mom, there's always a great meal. It's a wonderful meal. Especially if I serve the ribeye steak. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like fat ribeye steak loaded with it. Everybody better just chime in fast. So My favorite thing about Granny is how hard she worked to keep our family unified by putting on our family reunions and keeping the family letter going. Even when punks like us don't write very often. Amen. Um, <laughs> I, I have somewhat of an understanding of how much work that takes, although I'm sure I don't catch every detail, so I appreciate that. I hope most of you can come next year. I hope it works out in your schedule so we can be together again. Next year, next month. Next year. Next year. Next year. Next year. Next year for reunion. What, what, which month, Mom? July 10th. So we can plan up there. Well, if you're there, we'll be there. This is all <laughs> dependent on us. And then we thought we would, the following year, we'll take our kids to Alaska, move it up a year, and then the following year, another reunion. So that every other year, you can have your own, own personal reunions, and then every other year, we'll have this reunion. We'll see if it works out. As long as we're healthy, okay? okay. <laughs> My favorite memory of Granny is when I would we'd go to the farm, and the two memories that stand out most is when the barn caught on fire. Yeah! Put <laughs> that one on! And uh, the other is when I caught 16 gophers in a week. And both times... What's that? Didn't you get paid every go no. I don't remember that. You got a dollar in mail. Alright, what I remember is feeling useful. It was really neat, you know, because when... When the barn caught on fire, me and Jason had to run in there and get stuff out. And then they, we, they know, took the tanks of gas out. That's what they did. We were 14 years old, and they had 15 or 50, 50, gallon. 50 gallon barrels of, of gasoline, and the roof was on fire. They took them out. And we ran in and each grabbed one and rolled them out. I don't know how we did it because the next day we couldn't get them back in. <laughs> they, they, they saved us by taking those tanks well, out. And and they saved the motorhome too. Yeah. Motor yeah. Motor yeah. Right there. Right there. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, see, I don't remember you guys. And they see it. I got one. <laughs> <laughs> in the motor couch. <laughs> the girls were in our house and the boys were in Barbara's house. And the girls were all going over to Barbara's house to get away because we didn't know if we'd save ours. And they walked up and lived down. <laughs> 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 the adults were out at their hotel by Salt and Sea. Yeah, the adults were gone. It was just Grandpa and I that were there. Oh, and Barbara and Ray. And all the kids. Now there's a party. Yeah. I get a second generation. That one goes too. I remember yeah. feeling grown up about it. That was neat. It was feeling like you were actually useful and well, you were. helpful. I mean, that was really a, a watershed moment. So. I, I really remember you two boys and the help you gave us that day. Was that the holiday bowl year? No, that was at no. Thanksgiving time. That's another good one. Everybody grew up. When I grew up on Kim. You know, I grew up on Jason Zabel. What? I grew up in, that one. I grew up in right. Jason's mouth and in all over Kim's face. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Let's see. I guess I was... We were sharing a pillow. I was lying one way and the other two were lying the other way. And I thought, oh, I feel sick. Rolled over on my stomach, pushed myself up off, and of course their heads were right there. And I was going to run to the bathroom and it just all came out. Well, the sad thing is, the rides were turning on that dirt road into Granny's house. Was it that close? Yes. Yeah. Well, who was it that, that barely got in on? They were like, ew, 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 ew. Debbie Rucker? I mean, Hi, Kim. Kim have to talk. <laughs> just, they just, they just they talking like, about their arm. Yeah, so cool. yeah like, about okay. throwing up. I can't remember who that was. <laughs> on our way to San Diego for the game. Yeah. Um, right. We're just having a nice, nice day. Hey, Phil won't go much. Phil won't go much. Yeah. yeah. Hey, turn around and say hi. Hey, Mike. Say hi to, to Granny right there. Yeah, about Granny. <laughs> hey, Mike. Tell Corey. Tell Corey. <laughs> okay, Kim's favorite thing is drinking fresh orange juice on the farm and watching Grandpa ride the forerunner. Four wheeler. Four wheeler. Tell Corey. Okay. Hello. Tell Corey. <laughs>
Yeah, he got it. He got it. I got it. Yeah. Hey, great. Kim, we'll talk to you later. Granny was actually my first employer. And a taskmaster she was. Every day before school had to pull a quarter acre of, or a quarter mile of weeds. You didn't do it very long though. <laughs> <laughs> but we did get paid a dollar a row. That's right. They taught me the value of work. And you always had the nice, uh, those orange slides when we came home from school, you always had a big bucket of them. Yeah. Yeah. Before yeah. you had to go home to mom's house and eat something good first. Go to granny's, get the treat, go home and eat Oh no, they stopped, yeah. uh, Corey and uh, Tammy stopped by on the way home, they didn't go eat first. Oh no, that's what I'm saying, you stopped by your house before, oh no, I'm not very hungry anymore. <laughs> And you always let us ride the ATCs, even though you know how fast we're going on. You always thought we were so tricky. But we, we never went through the, the trees. <laughs> nope. Uh, Except for the racetrack, hey, bro. We knew what went on. <laughs> we knew when the truck got the sides taken off from it, too. When did the ATC get driven into the reservoir? <laughs> I did that. Did you do that? Because I was going past, well, I've had my memories, you guys should see. <laughs> That's a good one. I got freaked out by the beehives, and I was going on this, riding past the beehives, and I, I got on the slope, and the slope took the, took the bike right into the reservoir. How about your clam chowder that you Okay, I've had enough. We had fun with that. Yeah, we'd make those, get those little freshwater clams out of the reservoir, and we'd steam them, and butter them, and Granny made clam chowder with them. No, I did. Or, yeah, yeah, okay. But the first batch, I think you forgot to see. So not all the dirt. All dirt chowder. I said a whole clam in there. They still don't eat clam chowder. Yeah, they still don't eat clam chowder. I think that's what it tastes like. They both have a little grit. It's pepper, it's not dirt. This isn't good to know when you're here and when you're not. I look forward to your... Tell Granny what Josh is great. What's your favorite? Mom. <laughs> Josh's favorite thing is to find the cats and try to hold them. <laughs> that, that's sad, but that's impossible. <laughs> Sarah, do you have one? He's in for a challenge. He likes the challenge. Where's the man? What about Manda? Find a bear. Well, I have a mirror mirror of your granny. I remember when Don and I lived here, and which we lived here for a while, so I have a lot of memories. We sure enjoyed our time here. But I remember one night, Don, of course, was going to school and working, so, you know, at one time he didn't come home until like midnight for ever. <laughs> and I just remember one night, it was after Brayden was born, and he was really young, and I just said, I was out here talking to him, and he says, I'm going to go for a walk. And I went for a walk, and I got, I went to the church and ran into some friends, and, and just got to talking, and didn't think anything of it, and so I was gone for probably an hour and 20 minutes or so, and I came back, and I come out here, and you guys were gone. And I remember you coming knocking on my door and being frantic, worried about me, that I'd gone for a walk with, with Brayden, and Don wasn't home, and had not come back. Um, in, in quite a long time, and you've gone out looking for me. And I just remember you're concerned with that. I'm just saying, you're you looking out for me. Well, you were like our kids. Well, we two of them now, I guess. Shall we cut cake? Yeah, let's do cake cut. Yeah, man. Oh, I enjoy it when they come in. They come in and, and instead of going back out to work, they sit here and visit for, for an hour. All, all three of, all four of the older boys have done that. All
play cards and all those things. And, and just, um, you know, when we lived out here, everybody, we had to be on our best behavior. Just everybody knows Mary Rucker and Roy Rucker. So you have a great name. And, and it was, I always felt welcome out here, so I appreciate it. You're welcome. I miss you guys out here. I've got it rented now, and there's, it's, it's all the difference in the world. It, it was so much more fun when I had to sit out here. Well, Amanda wants to say something. I have to rent it. My Stand up. Going on the hammock. It's winking. Winking on the hammock. That's Wing what on she the hammock. You guys like that hammock, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> One good, one really good memory I have is when we were when we were here, and I don't know where Brent was, but I was for some reason I was just so sick, and I remember you guys took me in and fed me, and it was so nice. It's so nice to be nurtured when you're sick, you know. It was really really nice, and I remember how much she cared for me, and I was like, anyway, I remember that was really really just really nice, and and it, you could just feel your love. That way, that was really nice. Well, it's nice that you could have all of you lived out here and still be friends. How many of you guys lived out here? Who is a veteran? First one in there. That's Brent. That's Brent. Who's second? Me. No. No, it's Ross. Ross, no. Yeah. No, 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 we kicked Ross and Robin out. No, we kicked Lynn. We kicked Lynn and Ben out. We helped them move out. Sean had kicked us out. No, yeah, Ross and Robin were after us. Yeah. Because they found Shauna's wedding ring under the tree. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really glad. <laughs> I think yeah. Shauna and Mark kicked us out, and then Russ and Robin took you guys out. And then they and Jenna, me and Don. How many? Six, seven couples? Oh, and then me Lori and Lori. Uh, Lori and Justin were here sometime. Yeah. Wow. yeah, they were after us. Justin and Lori kicked us out. How many, Mom? Which we needed. I think six. Yeah. 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 Mom and Dad kicked me out. They left though, did they? Was it a vacant for um how are you going to light them? We're going to try to light all these candles. <laughs> so everybody kind of watch, and then we'll, Mom, we want you to be behind the cake so we can take the pictures. Come on. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Granny. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I wish for one more, at least. Oh, okay. One will make me happy. <laughs> Just do it one at a time. We do, we're going one year at a time. Okay, ready? One, two, ready, go. Right. No wax on the Start camera. Start blowing. Yeah. Start blowing. It's going to take a while. <laughs> you get it? Start blowing. Go. No spitting. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Another yeah, ten. Help, right? Take one with your study. Now time okay. to take Yes, buddy. Yes, yeah. nice, buddy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Oh, boy, howdy, you just Okay, we heavy. have strawberry, my new favorite of lemon, poppy seed, and chocolate. Is it hard? It's really hard. Great. Oh, you're going to take it. We're 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 going to take
Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday. 80 great years. Yeah, I'm looking for another, at least another 10. Give us 20. Give us 20. Happy birthday, Granny!